Hello everybody, I'm Stephen and this is my new YouTube channel, Stephen's Journal. Hello everyone, welcome to Stephen's Journal. Hello everyone, welcome back to Stephen's Journal. Hello guys, welcome back to Stephen's Journal. Hello guys, welcome to Stephen's Journal. Hello everybody, welcome back to Stephen's Journal. Stephen's Journal. Stephen's Journal. Merry Christmas. Hello guys, welcome back to Stephen's Journal. Hello guys, welcome to Stephen's Journal. <laughs> I just got the most amazing news that I will be moving to Florida for a year to work with the Cultural Representative Program in Epcot, which is in Disney World in Florida. Hello everyone, right, welcome back. Not gonna say it because you definitely heard it way more than you bargained for there at the start. Um, but yeah, welcome back. So, today uh, what I thought of doing now that I'm home is just summarizing my entire cultural representative program in one video. So for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Stephen. I'm from a little town just outside of Belfast in Northern Ireland and I participated in the Walt Disney World Cultural Representative Program, which I'll be calling CRP for short, um, in the United Kingdom Pavilion in Epcot over in Florida. This time around I did it from July 2019 and then until March 2020 and then unfortunately of course it got cut short. The last video I uploaded was just off me flying home and things like that, so I thought it would be the perfect time for me just to sort of summarise it and put it all into one video. So for those who have watched my videos throughout, you'll know that I've documented this entire journey from the moment I found out that I got the job until the minute I touched back down home in Northern Ireland. If you have been watching them, thank you so much for watching along with me and sticking by them. I know there was quite a few. And if this is the first video that you have found with me, then you can just click on my channel or subscribe and then you'll find all of my other videos. So there's ones from like flying out to like ranging from Disney House and all the things I got up to on my days off as well. Alright, so I'm not sure if anybody else has ever seen, but there is a other wonderful Disney vlogger, a Clary Tale, who was on my previous program. Um, she did a video very similar to the one that I'm about to do, so she's actually given me the entire inspiration for this. Um, I just love the way it put everything all together, and it was just such a nice way to like talk through all the things that I got up to as well. So at the beginning of the video there, for my little introduction, you did see me arriving at Belfast International Airport in June 2019. From there then, of course, I met Aoife and we flew over to Orlando. Um, I did the whole kickstarting, the programme, moving in, and started my programme at Fist Away. Um, so from then, I thought, just like a Clarity Tale did, I think it's the perfect way to start with the work side of things, because essentially, the whole uh, reason you're actually going over there is to work. I have some notes with me, so we're going to go along with that and see all the information that I can possibly give you while you see some of the things I got up to. So for Disney CRP, you will spend your one year program working at Epcot's United Kingdom Pavilion, that is if you're applying from the UK, and you will either select to work in food and beverage or merchandise, which is essentially what we call retail in the real world. The UK Pavilion's food and beverage offerings include the Yorkshire County Fish and Chip Shop, the Beer Cart, and the Rose and Crown Pub and Dining Room. If you successfully get merchandise, you will work in all of the British stores, which includes the Tea Caddy, the Royal Table, Toy Soldier, the Crown and Crest, Sportsman Shop, and the UK Cart. Once you begin your journey on the CRP, you will start with an off-the-job training week consisting of classes at Disney Housing about rules and regulations, 
phases and so on, and then you'll begin your pay training with Disney Traditions. This class is really where the fun begins and you learn all about Disney's traditions and values that keep the company in the number one spot since the beginning. The class will teach you so much and you get to do so many fun things and believe me some tears will definitely be shed in this class. It's also where you will get your name badge and your free entry to the parks and so on, things like that. After a few more classes and things at Disney University you will start your on the job training which is when it all really begins to feel real. With food and beverage you will start the job on what they call podium and that will typically be your first three to five months. Podium has multiple positions and during this time you will work front of house so to speak which basically means you're the first cast members guests will interact with during their time dining and experience in the UK pavilion and will tend to be quick short interactions compared to your time in service later on. Job roles include working on the outdoor beer cart, being stalker which is refilling everything from beer cups to chippy trays to changing kegs when they run out to refreshing the chippy with fresh new Victoria sponge cakes and things like that. And then you will also work two positions in the chip shop which will either be working on the registers or filler which is sort of preparing the orders inside the chippy like filling up the sodas and things like that. As well as this you will work in the restaurant front of house as either a seater or greeter. As greeter you will check guests in for their dining reservations and then the seater will be the person who greets guests once their table is ready and takes them to their tables, provides them with menus and once that's all done you'll let them know who their server is for the duration of their dining experience. So once you've completed your first three to five months on podium you'll essentially be promoted to what they call the um, server position. So you will move from a non-tip position into a tip position. You will go through a three week training procedure where you will become a food runner so that you can learn the tables and dishes and then you take various written and practical tests during your service training week and then if successful you will become a server in the Rose and Crown. So this three weeks is probably the most hard and difficult part of the whole program and um, it's just very tiring training um, but it's, it's so worth it afterwards. As I said, at this point you will change into a tip position role and you will typically have your own dedicated section of the restaurant ranging from three to five tables where you solely focus on your guests and spend the beginning to end of their dining experience with them and share stories of your culture and traditions back home and believe me they absolutely love it. We also have the Rosencrown pub which used to be a job role that we could potentially lead into after becoming a server. However, as of recent it is only for full time cast members who currently live and reside in Orlando. But these casts are absolutely amazing as well and the pub is so fun so I completely recommend going in there during your visit. Okay, so as I said you are essentially there to work but Disney are an amazing company to work for. They definitely do not overwork you or anything like that. So usually you're on 32 hours to 40 hours a week. Um, this can range during obviously peak times, things like that. But usually um, the max you'll have is around 40 hours, which is not bad at all. Um, with that as well, you will usually have two days off and typically they will be two days off together and they will be the same every single week. Um, so yeah, plenty of time off to go and see do things um, while you're not working as well. So I was actually so lucky, me and my entire friendship group had the same two days off. So every week we just decided to make the absolute most out of everything that we could do. Um, and yeah, so I think the next section of course should be what we would do on days off. Typically we would have spent our days off exploring the parks as you honestly never ever get bored of things to see and do. And especially when it's free, um, you definitely make the most of it. So as well as exploring Disney, we all bought Universal Annual Passes and went and visited those parks as well as on the days you just needed that little break and change of scenery. Orlando also has many restaurants and malls that we'd visit on those rainy days so we were never stuck for things to do in the nearby area. It's also so easy to rent a car there and once or twice we'd have rented a car and some of us even visited Cocoa Beach for the day and we watched all the cruise ships set sail out towards the Caribbean and it was just so nice to go and see things in Florida that was really offered to you only down the road. So the next part I actually hadn't included in any of my videos so far. Um, I kind of wanted my videos to just record and document all the fun things I got to do um, on my days off and things like that. However, at this point I can't really discuss the CRP in whole without mentioning the nights out. Many people ask when applying for the CRP if there's like nights out, things like that, or is it all just like all work, no play, 100% Disney magic? And the honest truth is no, it's not. Unless of course you want it to be, but um, no. There is definitely a nightlife scene in Orlando as well, especially with the UK Pavilion. The UK Pavilion love to go on nights out and there is definitely something for everyone. Without going into too much detail, we have various nights out that typically you'd see probably between 10 to 30 different cast members from the UK all going out together. And there's up to four different nights out a week, so there's always something that's interesting to somebody. 
Monday nights would consist of happy Mondays, and believe me, there's something which is very hard to even remotely describe unless you've been part of the CRP. It is a night that different countries play against other countries from around the world who work for Disney, although while not affiliated with Disney in any way, you'll quickly discover it's mostly people who are participating on CRPs from around the world. So in short, basically one week the UK could play perhaps Italy and then the next Germany and so forth. And it's basically a night where um, the teams race each other to drink beer from a cup and flip it until it reaches from one end of the table to the other. Again, very, very hard to describe, and not your typical night out, but a very fun one. And I really do recommend this night to meet other people from new countries, new friends, and the best way to socialise with the people that you work with. Other nights such as Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday consist of other nights out in places such as Parliament, Ibar, and Cowboys. All three of these places attract a wide range of people from the UK Pavilion, and they are just fun nights to bond and socialise with everyone that you work with. These nights range from American line dancing style bars to more UK style clubs and bars that you'll find one night that suits everyone to enjoy. You'll find too that once it is somebody's last week on the CRP, you tend to go to all these places to celebrate their last and it becomes all quite emotional saying your goodbyes at the places that you've made memories throughout the year. One of my favourite nights out on the um, CRP that we did was actually called the Throw-In. Now, I think it depends on the people that are probably there at the time, but it was quite a consistent thing on my first programme and we brought it back on my second programme. Um, so I hope it stays for everybody, but yeah, one of the best nights. With the Throw-In, two people will host this and it's a way to bring the pavilion together, typically on a Wednesday night, and we welcome in and introduce the new arrivals. We constantly have new arrivals coming and groups of people leaving and so sometimes with new people arriving it's hard to get to know them very well in the work environment, especially for the servers who are inside the restaurant while the new people work outside on podium. So with the throw-ins we would have a theme night and luckily I was able to host two of these throw-ins myself with Julie and Helen. The first one was 1990s themed and between 50 to 60 people from the UK pavilion came out that night which was so lovely to see. Everyone sort of sits in groups and with the new starts they come to the front, they introduce their names, where they're from, and then I read out interesting facts that have been given to me and the people in the pavilion need to guess who owns the fact. After that, up on the screen we'd have all their baby photos up and everyone has to guess whose baby photo it is and so on. It's a lovely way for the people in the pavilion to get to know the new people coming in and then if the groups guess the right fact and baby photo, the new people would join their teams and then we go into like a pub quiz style type of night. It's a great way, honestly, to have all the new people come in and get introduced and then also, you know, getting put into like groups, I guess you could say, that people they might not have sat beside, you know, you tend to sit beside the people that you arrived with and stuff, so they get put into groups and then it's such a nice way for you to bond and get to know people that you might not have like forcefully met like on the job and then that way when you go back to work you just like know everybody and it was just such a nice warm welcoming way to get introduced into the UK Pavilion. Alrighty guys, so that was the days, that was the nights, but what about the overnights? So, one of the amazing perks with staying and working with Disney is the discounts that they give you. And one of the amazing one is the Disney Resort Hotel Room Discount, and that typically would range between 40 to 60% for a hotel room. So, instead of, I mean, what we try to do when you have your two days off is spend a night in a Disney hotel for what we would call a staycation or a staycay and I completely recommend you trying to stay in as many of them as possible. Um, I was doing pretty good um, of course until things ended but um, yeah I just would be so tempted to go back just to stay and make sure that I've ticked off every single hotel. So as you will have seen in some of my videos, when I first arrived um, to America, Malcolm had used his cast member discount and got me and Aoife a room that he stayed with us at Disney's All-Star Sports Resort. This room was amazing and there was just so many little fun Disney things to do at it. Guys, look at this. Look at the stairways. The stairs is big giant coke things. It's called the Home Run Hotel and it's baseball and like the pool is the shape of like a baseball. Oh look, at it's Goofy's in the middle. So we're over in the visitor section, so there's like the bleachers. It is so cool. <gasps> What's it say? First visit CRP. If we've ever fallen off our case, we've just left our case, sorry, and I just like did a runner. Shut up. Oh my god, we got you a magic bag. <gasps> Fantasmaki, oh. that's my favourite show. Oh my god. No way. The podium tab? Beer cart all day, that's what that does to you. Mm. There's Malcolm in and the Julie and Chance just being chilling all night. <laughs> mm. 
The next staycay I had after this one was at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. This is by far my absolute most favourite Disney resort and just as I had arrived as well, luckily they had opened their big massive extension, the Grand Destino Tower. Um, so I had, like, that was first on my list, I had to go stay there and check out everything that was new. Wow. It smells so good. It's huge. Uh, it's also empty right now. Alright, so we just came out here. This used to be the main center, but now they have the tower. Let's just go look at how big this place is. Alright, this is all the one resort. We are here. There's the new big tower. Then these are all little themed buildings. So you have the cabanas. You have the ranchos at the back. You have the main pool area. And around here you have the casitas. And right, it's a huge pool. Hot tub. Shortly after this, it was Malcolm's birthday and nine of us got to stay together at Disney Saratoga Springs Resort in a treehouse villa. Now these are so different than the typical hotel room and it was one of the most highlights of my program. It was so fun just to get everyone together and have that entire experience. Ooh. It smells like, it smells like sore after me. Oh my god, this is amazing. Surprise! You skirt me. That's me spinning around this treehouse later. <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> Are you taking it from the model? Welcome back to Series Journal. This is the Team Santa Table. Good night. That wraps it up. Good night. By the end of September then, we also had some emotional time saying goodbye to Illuminations in Epcot. So for this, um, we decided to stay at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Um, we stayed in a Lion King suite, which was incredible, and we said goodbye to Illuminations and stayed overnight and then went back to Epcot on our days off to see the first day of uh, Epcot Forever. So today we are at Art of Animation. <laughs> We're having another stay, Caleb. Okay, we're treating ourselves. Another one, another one. Six of us are staying in a Lion King suite. And it's actually a very important day for all of us because it is the last day of illuminations. <laughs> so Julie's. I'm hiding my tears behind my sunglasses. This is us. What do you mean that? Serious? Oh, it's so nice as well. First as usual. <laughs> The man that books all those hotels. <laughs> oh! Aww. Aww. This is so nice. nice. Ah. Look at that. That is cute. That is oh, that's better. <laughs> it smells nice. It does, doesn't it? Look at that chair. It's funky. Oh my god, look at those stools. That's so cute. That's so so like the whole lyrics of my Oh, yeah. Behave, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's your dinner table? <laughs> oh my, my god, god, that is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what else is there then? A room. Oh, it's big too, isn't it? Wow. 
The next staycation after that was probably one of my favourites. Um, we stayed at Disney's Contemporary Resort, which is right beside Magic Kingdom. And not only that, we decided to treat ourselves into club level. So club level, wow, it's basically, it was the top floor of Contemporary. You have someone that brings you into the lift and takes you up to a key, like a key only area. You have your own dedicated lobby with check-in and it has a lounge that has basically all day unlimited food and drinks. So they change it up all day. So they have like a breakfast, brunch, lunch, like afternoon snacks, dinner, like evening desserts and drinks and things like that and basically you sit in this lounge and you have a balcony view of Magic Kingdom to watch the fireworks and you just sit and eat and drink. Hello everyone, are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah, very relaxed. Good. So this is the club level lounge. We've got a few balconies. We have our fridge, teas and coffees, more balconies. And the best part is you can bag these up. Then round from the lounge we have our own private check-in area. The entire floor is dedicated to club level. And look at this. Oh. Wow. Wow. It's really spacious, isn't it? This sleeps fine. What is it? Oh, wow. What a present. Oh. 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 Look at that. Guys. Look at us all. Who do we think we are? So we just had one of the chefs stop by and see how everything was and was talking about it. Even went and got us a top up of our drinks and now we're having some oh we're going to try We're gonna try some of the nuggets and some of the beef. Hmm. Well we've finished our nuggets and we've finished some wine and look at the sunset. So now it's dessert time. Uh, oh, oh, <coughs> so I thought I best test a bit of everything. So that's that's where I'm at. You enjoying yours over there? Cheers. Cheers. Well, folks, we've got a rose regale. We're waiting for the and Kahlua. We're waiting for the fireworks to start just over here. They start in literally three minutes. He's excited. Yes. Good. And I'm ready for the fireworks. <laughs> on a journey to discover who we are meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. Christmas we also did a stay K, but I'm going to speak about Christmas very shortly, but in short we stayed at the brand new Disney's Riviera Resort. This had just opened two weeks before Christmas and 13 of us all stayed together for three nights over Christmas 
and had the best time ever. I mean, it was so brand new, probably like the first people in those rooms. And um, we brought our Christmas tree along, we brought presents, we had Secret Santa, we had Christmas dinner, and it was honestly the best time. If you're going there, I completely recommend over Christmas. Make sure you stay on a Disney resort. Uh. <laughs> but it's a nice resort. Look at this. And this is what you see first. You can go this way. You can go this way. So we have a full blown kitchen. Full kitchen, full fridge, freezer. Full seating. We've got a lot of bags as well. Full seating area. Julie with her Prosecco. A TV that's huge. Full living room. Right outside is the Skyliner. One of the balconies. One of the bedrooms. With its bathroom. That's insane. Then it's in a separate toilet and shower room that is huge. And it loops back around. Then you have the other bedroom. Which also has closets, big giant closets. Full bedroom. Gain hole or bathroom. More storage. Big giant bedroom. Another balcony, which the Skyliner is right there, and right over there is Epcot, which the fireworks are going to be right in front of us. Hi! Hi, everyone! Hi. <laughs> okay, so here we go. There we go, Christmas trees. Mom, can you hold this? Yeah, I'll hold it. Is it sad that I still can't believe it's actually Christmas? I know. I know. Christmas trees happening over here. We've got Bethany, bartending. What are you making? Cornstar martinis. Cornstar martinis. Oh. Christmas about cornstar martinis. <laughs> like it's just got a label. <laughs> wow. All right, so the hotels was one of the amazing perks that Disney gave us, but they gave us so many other perks as well. One of them was all the amazing things the cast members got to do and see and preview and things like that. One of my previews was getting a cast member preview of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios. Now, this is one of Disney's biggest expansions they've ever done, and so for us to get in and see it before anybody else while it was so quiet was amazing. Now, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but this land was one of the biggest things to happen for Disney, as I said, and the fact that I got to experience it before the public was so much fun. You honestly feel so special walking through the park and flashing that Disney ID and just cutting through while everybody stands back and watches. We also got to experience Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway before it opened, and it was amazing. This one was very secretive, so we had our phones zip locked and everything, but nonetheless, it was fun to spend the day and experience new things. On the work side of things, I also loved how Disney always had things going on for us as cast members. I was lucky enough to be a trainer and we got to go to trainer appreciation lunches before work where they had free food and drink for us before we began our shift. One day while I was working, Epcot held Club Evolve, which was a cast member only party for Epcot cast members just beside the UK pavilion. This had a DJ, photo opportunities, characters, a buffet, drink stations and previews of things that Epcot are doing in the future, so like including new costumes, the ride vehicles for Ratatouille and so on. The fun moments in work too, like New Year's Eve, was so lovely to work with everyone and bring us all together. We went out at 7pm, which was midnight in the UK, and celebrated together on the streets, and then at midnight we all got to go out the back of Frozen Crown and watch the fireworks together, which was literally the most amazing fireworks I have ever seen in my life. Speaking of fireworks, another great time was being able to be there for the very last night of Illuminations and the very first night of Epcot Forever. 
Now, one of the other amazing things you can do, and Disney are so good with, is giving you the time off to go and do other trips and see other places in America and so on. So, unfortunately this time around I had planned to do most of my trips in the last four months um, when I had booked time off and saved up and things like that. So that kind of ruined things, but I did get to go to New York City just before Christmas. Um, and on my previous program I also went over to California and I did a Caribbean cruise to Jamaica and Haiti. So plenty of things you can do. Um, this time, as I said, I got to go to New York and it was so fun and it was just so nice to get that change of scenery as well. All right, here we are. Here we are. Times Square. All right, there's a big... We have the ball. So much run the red steps. It's gonna be really cool at night. Jesse, for so good, we're all wrapped up. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. We have to get food. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, there's a Disney store right on Times Square. We just can't escape it. And like a hundred people dressed as Minnie and Mickey trying to take your photo. <laughs> it's, it's not good. Falcon, look. <laughs> That'd be very nice. So yes, it has frozen over. And starting to set. <laughs> All right, we ventured out. Look at all those chickens. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this time, again, it was a Christmas and I had literally forgotten that coldness like that can exist. When we arrived, it was minus eight degrees and we had came from like 28 degrees in Orlando. So yeah, it was very, very cold. So speaking of Christmas, um, just after I came back from New York, um, a couple days later it was Christmas and as you've seen before we did stay on Disney's Riviera Resort, 13 of us all together. So a lot of people do ask, you know, like what's it like at Christmas or do you get to come home at Christmas when you're on the CRP? And quite honestly the answer is no. Um, Christmas is Disney's business busiest period, like point blank, um, especially for Epcot, especially for food and beverage workers. Um, so there's just most likely just absolutely no chance that's going to happen. However, have comfort in knowing that every single person that you're working with are in the same boat, everyone is away from home and everybody makes the most of it. So it's going to be one year and I'm probably never going to get to say again that I stayed with 13 people in a massive like five star Disney resort and have Christmas with people from all over the UK. Duncan. Shepherd. I want one. Shepherd. <laughs> the shepherd. Santa's here. The shepherd. Oh. 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 I know. I know that I was expecting guys to come sexy Santa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! How did she get this blown up? Christmas. You are suited for our decorations. <laughs> Hello. 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 Slippery. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. Guys, I need a hold on. Can I take this off now? What oh, is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Gabby. Oh, god, so it's you. I thought it was Santa. Oh, I'm so Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know about these things. What does it work? Okay. Let me see. I think. This is how. Oh my word. How do I make this man? Everyone thought you played with veg. Yes, thank you, guys. Christmas, everyone. My first Christmas brown. Is that actually a Halloween song? Merry Christmas, everyone. This is your first Brussels sprout. Alice, can you try it now? Can I put some Halloween sauce? Yeah, alright. She's enjoying it. Pretty much, really. Ladies and gentlemen, chairs. Uh, you have, like, the present, sorry, right? I didn't know Santa was coming. Okay. Why are you <laughs> stop wiggling your chin? It's really making me angry. <laughs> so, so we have our Christmas tree, all the presents. 
as well as this, uh, at Christmas time, get yourself to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Um, Disney during the Christmas holiday season is my absolute favourite and Magic Kingdom and all the other parks are just beautiful, like amazing. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Uh, oh, look! It's castle wrapped in shimmering <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> the Diva of Dare! Clarabelle! Look out! Don't want to Again, to give you the full idea of the CRP and summarise it all, um, another thing I can't not talk about is down points. So you are living this most magical year away in Florida and you're living literally in Disney having just the best time of your life but no year, no matter where you are, is going to come without some down points. So just always be prepared, especially if you're going on the CRP or applying for it, that you might come through some sad moments that you're not really wanting, especially while away from home. On my first program, I had the unfortunate time of dealing with um, a friend's death and a family member's death, and that can be very, very hard being away from home. Disney are really good with that whole thing, and if you need time off to get home and stuff, you know, you can just make sure you speak to them and it's, it's you can get that all sorted. Um, as well as things like that, you know, you're probably at some point going to get quite sick or ill during the year um, and not being in your own bed is sometimes not great but you can always get through it. There's so many things and people recommend you where to go to get things like from Walgreens and stuff like that. Um, there's also some days you just wake up not feeling yourself and you just don't want to go to work. Um, but you have such a support network around you and everyone is so good and again as I've said throughout this everyone's in the same boat so you know if you're dealing with like those down points in, in your year, just make sure you like speak to someone and you're always going to have someone that's going to like get you back up and get you out to one of those Disney parks and make it much better. I do have to obviously mention this time around we had the coronavirus which completely ended everything so it didn't even make it bad, it just completely ended everything. Um, but I'm hoping and praying that that's never going to happen again for any other future programs so you hopefully won't have to worry with what we had to worry about but yes having you yourself in Florida in lockdown away from everyone from home and getting emails that you have a couple days to like fly home and things was scary as well and a low point but it is what it is and I'm glad that I was there in the first place to even get sent home from so it's fine. But yeah, as I'm saying about the coronavirus, the low points then that that did cause for me this time round was the amount of things that I missed out on. So again, with cast member things like Starlight Splash, which was like a cast member party in Typhoon Lagoon that I was really excited for. I was excited for my Disney graduation. Um, I had literally 
within that week, two of my close friends coming out to visit me, um, which all got scrapped. I had 11 of my family members coming out. They had a giant villa book. They had all, like, all my brothers, nieces, and nephews. Everyone was coming out. The whole thing was scrapped. I had plans to go on a cruise. I was meant to be going to Disneyland, California. Everything's scrapped. So just always be prepared that you might go over with big plans and sometimes things can not go your way, but it is the way it is and just make sure that you if you do have things like that like you know I was like oh I'm not gonna go on my cruise but I was like oh but let me go do this and instead and you know there's always other things that you can do to bring yourself back up and yeah one thing I will say though is the friendships that you make over there are incredible the friendships that you make will literally last a lifetime your friends and your job will literally get you through any points in the program and that's why I want to end this with friendship. It's honestly so difficult to even begin to explain to anybody what way the CRP leaves you when you come home. So unless you've done the CRP, I mean you will understand if you've done it and if you haven't, I, I, it's, I'm sure you can see through how we get on in the videos but it's just so hard to explain. While we all go out knowing it's temporary and we know that we will be coming home and things will go back to normal, you just become home and become such a different person and you see things differently and all the training and like the experiences and memories you've made, it just changes you for the good. So, thank you so much to everybody that's watched Stephen's journal throughout. Um, oh, so sad, but it's not the end. I have so many more Disney plans already in my head for the moment I can travel. So I'm gonna be documenting all that. Um, I'm gonna document some CRP series type things with like questions and answers and so on like that. Um, but if you've watched my videos from flying out to getting here, thank you so much. And um, to all the friends that I made, thank you so much. It's been the most amazing year times two of, of my life. And that's why I want to end this on all the friendships that I've made while on the Disney Cultural Representative Programme. Hi. 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 Oh, is this vlog Zeppelin? Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I think that would suit you. Do you think? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> 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 There's nothing here, you're coming too close. Yeah. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Some fruit. Oh, healthy. Yeah. It is really oh a bow and everything. <laughs> You're ready. Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look who's here on holiday. It's Obi. Hi. Me and Obi work together in 2016, 2015. Yeah, so much Looks good. And then you got a wee cocktail. Of course. Stash on my face. <laughs> so it's all up. <laughs> I think that's what you should get. <laughs> Shouldn't James get this one? <laughs> Are you enjoying that? <laughs> there it is. Hundreds of us. 
<laughs> There's Lucy for Stephen's journal one last time. <laughs> oh guys, we just did Dr. Dim's fear fall, now we're all like... <laughs> How are you feeling, man? I'm scared of the grenades there. They're like, gonna like fall down them. <laughs> and we all got our... Celebrating! Celebrating pins. Right, Zach, come on, get it on. I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> this is Bethany <laughs> showing. She's going to Coachella. <laughs> She's at the Epcot experience. Oh, that is cute. Whoa! Moving on with the good times and the seas. Oh, and what else? Dessert. Just for dessert. <laughs> Do you know what? This is That's what these wee hotel says. For T-shirt, maximum screaming. <laughs> What's the back say? <laughs> Halloween yeah. Horror Nights. You know. <laughs> okay, now it's even starting. I'm gonna say hello. Hi, we're a party of three. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Cool. And then she's got the Ghostbusters cup. Uh, okay. Ian's first time at Magic Kingdom since he did Traditions, and it's a Christmas party, so that's all the way. So welcome to <laughs> Will's Journal. <laughs> today. Today in Will's Journal. <laughs> I'm jingling, We're jingling all, all, the all the way, mate. He's <laughs> gonna cry. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> she's here, she's calm down. She's excited for a scotch egg, now she's all shy. <laughs> Fins. Woo! <laughs> Everyone else is just minding their own business, <laughs> enjoying them day one holidays. Having a good time. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> 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 gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> These are car shopping for Kane. <laughs> Uber series. Don't even Uber. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks. Don't touch it till you come to me. Is my name on that? It is when you're not filming. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's She's she was doing somersaults with them. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, how is isolation going for you guys? <laughs> you can maybe wear them on the plane home tomorrow, like. <laughs> Yeah. Is Capri still in here tonight? Uh, <laughs> Here's Beth cooking up a storm. What's going on here? It doesn't smell very good. I'm going to turn around. Oh my goodness! Just arrived at Grand Floridian and we're about to go see the gingerbread house because it's officially Christmas. <laughs> we're in, you're in! <laughs> Everyone's heading for a group photo. <laughs> 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 